All right. May the Lord bless each and every one of you wonderful people. You let me let me let me let me let me let me reason with you out of the scripture. God. Hallelujah. And, and as I said that, the Holy Ghost brought me the scripture in the eighth chapter of the book of John. When Jesus told that woman, go and sin no more. He said, no more. No more. Don't ever say it again. That's what Jesus said. In the Old Testament bit, before Jesus came in the flesh, God told the people, keep my commandments. He told the people, thou shalt not. He meant that. Not even one time. I want to talk to you for a few minutes. Praise him. You have people leaving the scripture. Now I know you say, well, that's a hard thing. Who, who can do that? Who can live without sin? Okay, no, I live without sin. If you are truly a Christian, a true Christian follower of Christ, don't you know whatever you said you did follow Christ? Christ never told you to say he never led you to say If you are led to say you are tempted to say that's not Christ tempting you. That's a say, that's Satan. It's not hard to live free from sin. It's not hard not to sin. Here's how easy it is. Jesus said, don't do it. It's that easy. Don't do it. If you keep what Jesus said in your heart, in your mind, you won't do it. Even if by some chance you do do it, You will repent for doing it. Wait a minute. You think more. You think more of your husband and wife and friends and judge and police. You think more of people than you do of God. How many of you will cheat on your wife and cheat on your husband? How many of you will steal, will, will steal or kill or deal drugs or get drunk or And you do that to the people. And what's the first thing you go, if you, your wife say, okay, I'm leaving. And then your husband say, I'm leaving. Uh, I'm putting you out. As a matter of fact, as I was taking my walk this morning, a young man, he had left. Left his I don't know what they were mad or what. They left the house. 
had his bags in the clothes, backpack on. And he was at the church and his woman, the wife, whoever, she drove up. She said, oh, so you going to be on church ground talking stuff. He said, look, I don't want to go to jail. He said, you want me to go to jail. So I'm leaving. I don't want to go to jail. And she parked the car and got out of the car and went over there and they had words. And I'm praying there to be peace and mind my own business as I'm walking. Now, whatever the situation is with the husband and your wife, what do you do? You tell them you sorry. You repent to them and you tell them, give me another chance. I'm not going to do it anymore. It's the same. What Jesus said. Okay, G told that woman, don't go see it no more. Okay? The sin that they highlighted was committed adultery. So go and don't commit adultery anymore. I don't care how you tempt it, how good they look, how much money they offer you, whether you're attracted to them, don't you do it no more. There's no big sin or little sin. What, how big the sin in your eyes, how little the sin in your eyes, he said, don't, see, you can't point your finger and don't see it, nobody do it. All unrighteousness is sin, all of it. No matter how small in your eyes, you can't point your finger at the homosexual, and you are adulterer. You can't point your finger at the adulterer, and you sucking cigarettes. You can't point your finger at the crack addict. And you a drunkard. You can't put your finger at the liar. And you cheat on your income tax. And lie to get government and PPP loan. Whatever sin it is. Now we know Christ's blood will clear us up from all sin. You had to repent of all your sin before you even come to Christ. You had to repent of all that sin. Now, why did you go back in? You repented of all your sin that came to Christ, believed Christ, called on Christ to clear you from all your sin. All of it. Why are you going back in? Why did you do a little something? What's he doing that for? I don't. People may say, well, it's hard to live without sin, without sinning. Let me read something to you. <laughs> Did not David say, here is why it's hard. Did not David say in his law, doth thy meditate day and night? His mind on keeping God's law, keeping God's commandment. Ah. Hallelujah. Thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against you. Because the word is in, in the heart. The word is in the mind. Well, meditate on the law day and night. She was a mind of, what your mind don't do it right, if your mind stay on doing right, you will do right. Praise God. Even Adam did keep their mind on God's word. 
they list to Satan's word. It wasn't God's word that caused them to see it. It was Satan's word. They listened to Satan's word. Abraham listened to God's word. Lot listened to God's word. Nor did family listen to God's word. They didn't listen to other people's word, word before the flood came. But they meditated on God's word. What you meditate on. I don't care what you said. You got to do it. <sighs> let me read something. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me read something to you. I'll give you some sound doctrine. And I'm talking to Christians and saints. The sailor gonna do what he wanna do, what she wanna do, what he wanna do. They don't regard God or man. Some of you, you you broke your you broke your mother, your parents' commandments and rules. You hurt your mother, it hurts your father. You let them down. And it hurts your heart so bad. Praise God. And you vowed, I'm not gonna, uh, I'm not gonna do that no more. You think more when you go to jail and get out and get out on parole. You say, I learned my lesson. You go for the parole board. I learned my lesson. I repent of all the things that I've done. He said, okay, what's going to do if the, if the situation arises again? What's going to do then? I'm going to get away from them, folks. Read something to you. John chapter. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, Matthew chapter. 15. In verse 19, look what Jesus said. For well, out of the heart proceed evil thoughts. You do it evil, they will call your heart evil. If your heart wasn't evil, uh, you'll stop it. Murder, adultery, fornication, theft, false witness, blasphemy, these are the things with the foul of man. You do it. Can somebody do it that? They will call their heart ain't right. If you're hard, right, you'll stop that. In John 8, 31, Jesus said, They like you my disciples indeed. If you continue, continue in my word. Not the devil's word, my word. Go to Romans. Seven twenty five and read the whole same chapter. I thank God through Jesus Christ our Lord so did with the mind. What's your mind on? I myself serve the Lord God with my mind. Oh, I can say, uh, with my, with your mind, you say, but Lord, with your mind, with your mind on the Lord, not your mind on the devil, and your mind on sin, but your mind on the Lord. So then with my mind, I myself serve the law of God, that means obey, wait, but with the flesh, the law of sin, but with human nature, remember that, oh, we all born in sin, yeah, that nature. With that nature, you're going to obey sin. You're going to obey the devil. 
But Jesus said, you must be born again of water and spirit. Jesus nature ain't going to Jesus spirit. Ain't gonna, the new birth, the Holy Ghost is not going to lead you to sin. Watch it. Chapter 8. In verse 5, they, for they that are after the flesh do bad things of the flesh. Your mind is on commit sin. I don't care what you said. If you dwell on anything long enough, you're going to do it. I don't care what you said. You dwell on something and think about something long enough, you're going to do it. You're going to carry it out. They that are after the flesh, 8th chapter, the 5th verse of Romans, they that are after the flesh do by the things of the flesh. But they that are after the spirit, dive, 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 yo, baby, if you after the spirit, mind the things of the spirit, and the spirit ain't going to lead you to sin. Man, you get some real sight, and you come up there with some food with, to them with some foolishness. Man, they'll shut you down. They'll, they'll shut you down. They will shut you down. You better get away from me. Lose here, you dealt with you. <laughs> they'll shut you down. You of your you of the devil. I, <laughs> I know a situation. <laughs> but keep your mind on. The spirit that's inside of you. The word that's inside of you. But Bill Ball of Water is spirit. Water is the word. The word that's inside of you. The same word that, let, that, that, that you got saved with. And you know you had to repent of all your sins in order to be saved. Now don't go back into it. Stand against the wise of the devil. Stand against the wise of the devil. The, the, that's the devil tell you to see. Look at 6, Romans 6, 15. What then shall we see it? Because we are not under the law, but under the great God be it. Know ye not that whom ye yield yourself serves to obey. His service ye are to whom you obey. Don't yield yourself to the devil. It was it was a, a, a phrase out or a song out years ago say, the devil made me do it. That's true, the devil made you do it. I, I know, I know, I know some said, well, devil ain't making you do that. Yes, he is. The sin nature came because of the devil. In the garden. We all human. That's the devil. Hallelujah. Know you not who you yourself serve to obey his serve you are whom you obey. Well, if well the sin unto death, you able or you obey sin, you're gonna die. Why you obey and sin? Or, or, or of obedience are to right. You obey God, you'll be right. You right, you will obey God. Walk after the spirit, you won't fulfill the lust of the flesh. And I'm talking to Satan now. Glory to God. Sometimes you veer off because you're not praying as you should. Meditate on this word as you should. Obey the spirit as you should. Double. Wait a minute. You got the spirit? The spirit. You mean to tell me the spirit didn't tell you? Don't you do that. If that would try to tell me. Wait a minute. No prophet had to come tell you. All right, my child. 
ba 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 ba. Don't do it. God said, don't do it. Ain't nobody, ain't nobody, ain't no problem. God tell you nothing. You know you wrong before you do it. Praise God. Now, you know you wrong before you do it. Now you obey the spirit and don't you do it. Now some may say, some may say, you may encounter things in life in hallelujah. The 17th chapter dealing with forgiveness. The 17th chapter of the book of Luke. Read that. Peter said, Lord, increase my faith. Dealing with forgiveness. And holding grudges it. Lord, increase my faith. You cry out to God. The old thing that bother you, you cry. I'm not living like I should. I'm not. I mean, it's hard for me to forgive. Uh, you cry out to God. He'll help you now. I'm a living witness. I'm a living witness. He'll help you now. Praise God. You will love like it. I mean, man. I, I cried out to God back in the 1990s. Man, I'm going to. People doing all calorie, wrong, even though close to me. Hallelujah. My name mud all through the brotherhood. Hallelujah. Praise God. And, 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 and I'm transparent. Me not, me not, me not meditating on this word. All I do is word, but me not meditating on this word. Yes, I got off in the thing. And I make no excuses. Hallelujah. And I repent it. Me not meditate on the word, but me being in fight with folk. Not, not naturally, but they come to me and I'm coming back at them. I never will get one night in my home. I get on my knees and I say, Lord, you Lord, you got to help me. You cry out to God, he'll help you. And those same folk, and none of them, hear me good, none of them have came back and said, I'm sorry, we were wrong. None of them. Yet, when I see this, I couldn't do this. What did you be? I would avoid them. I see him coming. I turn right out, go the other way. But now, my God, hallelujah! Some of them did now, but praise God with hallelujah. I, I loved him. When I see him, I, I greeted them and called them to him and sit on the same bench with him and hallelujah, sit in the same pulpit next to him and, and no animosity in my heart. You pray and ask God to help you. Praise God. Things happen. Praise God. Your attention got drawn away. Hallelujah. Your attention got drawn away from the word of God. Some of you found yourself in a far country. But you cry out to God. I don't care what you said. I don't care what you said. In, in, in the words of the late Elder Joe Clark, I never will forget. He said, I don't, care what, I don't care what you do or where you at or what's your status in life. If you cry out to God, God will help you. You cry out to him. Tell him to help you. Live the way he told you to live. Tell him to help you. Praise God. He'll do it. That's enough. Thank you for it.